Hey guys, how you doing today? It's me, Kelly. So today I'm just going to do a background and maybe sketch some, uh, a picture on here. I'm not real sure. I think I'm going to do another girl. I love just painting, painting, painting. So that's what I'm going to do today. So I decided, <laughs> getting my stuff out of the way, I know I'm messy. I decided that I am going to do a purple background. Let's just a purple background um different purples different purples and i'm gonna start by i have dioxine uh dioxine purple and i have light lavender and a little bit of white and that's what i'm gonna do my background with so my chair is really weird today so i'm gonna just shake And I'm just going to squirt in a, a couple of different places. And you could use whatever colors you want. I'm just trying to live my life here. Come on. It's almost gone. Ooh. I love these paints. Right. Okay. These are uh, pure pigments by Plaid. Love them. And then I'm going to just do some white. And what I'll do is just, just like that for now. I am going to take a big brush and you can see it's right here. Uh, I'm going to go in with this white and I'm going to dip a little bit of water because I want it to have that watercolor effect. And then I'll go to the purple. And I am just going to see what we're working with here. And obviously you could see as you mix in with that white, you get a lighter color. Um, so, but I want it to be, want it to be the background and I don't need it to be so um, bold. I like these edges to have a little bit of dark and then I'm just gonna kind of exit really little X's I really like that I really do Mess it up, mess it up. I'm just gonna go in a little bit more. Got little dried crusties, which nobody wants. Nobody wants a dried crusty because I have to draw. And if you draw on a dried crusty, you know. Okay, so you could see. Do I want a little bit more white? Do I want a little bit more dark? Hmm. Oh God, Kel, these are the decisions. I'm gonna leave it. I'm gonna leave it. I'm putting the brush away and I'm drying it. <laughs> That's what I'm doing. I see a blump there. I don't want a blump. Ah. Now I screwed that up. That's all right. We'll do something with it. We'll do something with it. I'm gonna pat that and then just kinda yeah, I just don't want it to be a big old fingerprint if you know what I'm saying. We want this to be dry because I'm going to be drawing on top. La, 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 la. I'm using my heat gun. Obviously, if you don't have a heat gun, use your hair dryer. If you don't have a hair dryer, acrylic paint literally will dry in no time. No time at all. 
I always say, what's your favorite YouTuber? Watch like a video or two or listen to two songs and you'll be ready to go. Ready to go. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to try to plan it out before I draw it. Will I? Who knows? But I'm just doing a simple background at the moment because I know a lot of you guys starting out, you don't have much, you don't have um, much experience, I guess, uh, is what you guys are telling me. So I'm trying to go as easy, you know, I mean, you saw how easy that background was. Let me tell you, I dragged this and you can see right here. It's a little darker. I didn't get all that purple off. So I'm going to go in before it dries all the way because I am insane like that and it's going to drive me insane. And I'm going to put my finger in some water and I'm going to, I mean, it happens. What are you going to do? I don't, I would rather have this than that big plumpies underneath, right? Or that I didn't spread it out like I should have. Oh, but we going to. I'll just take another brush. I'm not, not mad at it. Not going to be mad. Not going to be mad. And it's a dry brush. And I will blend this in and out. You can see how I'm doing it. Now remember, we're going to have drawing and, and gosh only knows what else. <laughs> gosh. The gods only know what else. Now you can see a little bit more there. And I'm just going to go like the else. Go like this. Don't ever think, oh my gosh, what am I going to do now? What you're going to do is, what you, what you, what you're going to do? Watch, let's see. So now you see we have this, I mean, it's a gorgeous purple, right? But then what the heck is that? So, <coughs> then <coughs> I'm going to choke on my spit. <coughs> Excuse me. I'm going to take. A little bit of our light lavender or whatever color you want, whatever you're working with. I'm going to pat it, pat it, pat it and get that in there. All right. Going to dry my finger off. I'm going to take my dry brush again and just around those edges, I'm going to feather it and like bring it out. Now remember, we're going to be painting over this. so. It's not going to be that big a deal, but I'm going to just feather it in a little bit. And if it's not, you know, if you're not happy with that, go back and start again. Take a little bit of white. White is a good, uh, I use so much white. It's a shame. And I'll put some here. White is a very good equalizer. And I'm like going figure eight. You see what I'm saying? And I'm just going to move it out. And I'm going to go here because I have some marks I don't like. And you just kind of start over. Is that a big deal? No, it's paint. It is just paint. Now, sadness is I like the way it was in the beginning, except when I saw those. So, I mean, it's a decision you have to make. Do you uh, let it go? Let it go. Let it go. Do you say, oh, you know what? I'm not going to let those two bother me. I'll put something over. I'll put a sticker because I like the background. Or do you do like me and just move it around? Now I'll go in with a little bit more of that dark, actually. And I will just do a little squeeze here. Just the littlest bit. And kind of move it over here. Because remember, we're drawing on this. You're not going to really know what's going on. I just want that combination of the colors. Something pretty to look at. So when that little bit of the background plops out, you're like, oh, okay. All right. I know I'm going to have my girl there. So that's what we're going to do. So like I said, if you, but you can still even see it there. I should have just probably went like this and patted it in, but you see what happened. I mean, it happens. What are you going to do? I'm not going to do much, but what I am going to do, 
let's move on. Now I can, because I really love like the way this top is, I can turn it and be like, oh, I'm going to build up. You know, I'm going to see all this. So I'm going to take and I'm going to do, I'm going to make a skirt. And what I'm going to do is take, what happened to my camera? I'm going to take my papers. I'm going to do green because I like the way that looks. And I'm going to take my, and please excuse me, my brain is not with me today. I'm going to take my gel pen and I'm going to draw out what I want. So I'm going to have it kind of like this. I don't know if you'll be able to see this gel pen. If you do this and your paint's still wet, which mine obviously is, please make sure you wipe all sides and the point of your gel pen because what's going to happen, I could have just used my Stabilo, but what's going to happen is uh, it'll dry, the acrylic will dry, and then what? You're not going to have, you know, a gel pen anymore. So you just make sure you do that. It makes it a lot easier. Also what makes it easier is if you have like uh, Stabilo or, you know, something to that effect, which I don't have sitting here right now. So I'm going to decide what I want as my main skirt. I'm kind of digging that. And then I'm going to put that underneath. Yeah, because I want it to show. Yeah, that's what I'm going to do. Okay. So I'm going to take this piece of paper. And what I love about these papers, it's like mulberry paper. You can use both sides and you get really cool, you know, kind of things. So I'm just going to give me an idea of where it was and take my pencil and just give me a general idea of where it is. And that'll be like kind of where it ends too. You see, it's so scientific. Dun, dun, dun. Always cut it a tad bigger than you need because if you've seen my videos, you know. I mean, if you cut it too short, it doesn't really matter. But you just want the general. Now, don't throw these away because I love gluing these, taking this like this, putting it on a piece of printer paper or uh, tissue paper, even a. Um, dryer. I love recycling stuff. So dryer sheet, once it's used, use that and start gluing them on and you get all your little pieces and you get more paper. It's like what you do with fabric, right? All right. So this will be on here. Now, do I want, oh, I should have grabbed my decorative scissors. Do you want it to be a little, you know, squishy down there? Do you want it to be straight? Um, I'm going to do like I do all the time, stupid me. But I'm gonna do just a little, little bit of textury wave. Cause I'll end up probably putting glitter. Will I? Will I not? Who knows? Okay. And yes, I'm building up to the back. I am not worrying about my pencil marks. Okay. I will erase them after. Now, uh, something that is really good that you can do is if you have a glue stick. And you want to just test to see, oh, I'm going to do this, that, the other. You could do that. But right now, I'm just going to build my skirt up. Uh, and then I'll do, you know, my uh, thing underneath. So here. I want it to be like, this is going to be hanging. Yeah, I want that. And then I'll take this. kind of hope I'm sure there's a better way to do this but we ain't doing it today because <laughs> okay. you want that green to show underneath as well so I'm just kind of doing my thing I'm doing my thing I do it a little bit bigger just because it's the way I don't like it and uh so this goes here, this will go here, so we'll do it up there. But you see how we get that really great 
looks like a like a skirt with like a petticoat almost underneath of it. Now at this point, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go in and I'm going to erase before I glue or do anything else. And I might, I don't know, I might stop this and forward through and then do a, a voiceover or uh, something. I don't know, maybe. Because I don't, you know. And you could do one here too. We're not going to see too much of it. But. Okay. And we'll go over it with markers or paint or something. But that's going to be our skirt. Okay. And we'll really have a fun go. But do you see the contrast that we're getting? So you can see, like, if you mess up, it's not going to be that big a deal. Okay, so here's what I do. I might even go back in with a little bit of more of this and make a third one or a piece of this. Like this is really cool too with those designs, but I think, I think I'll just stay where I'm at and I'm not going to make it as big. I'm just going to go in and let's see might not work okay let's see no but i want it to be bigger like it obviously it'll be bigger i just cut it out of the corner um but i think it's going to be too much if i had another color like a boom like a red right Now, do I want that for the bot, you know, for like a, a shirt or do I want that or, or mosquitoes are killing me this year and I'm using my spray. Um, or do we want something like that? Hmm. Okay. You see where I'm going with that, right? So that'll end up being uh, like almost like a shirt to that. Okay, so now my next decision is, let's put this aside for now because that's really neither here or there. My next decision is going to be, do I want it this big? Do I want it uh, to be smaller? Do I want her to be smaller? So you figure if I do like this, let's say her, let's say this is her shirt, right? So like her shirt and waist and then I do her head. That's going to be too, I think I'm going to cut it. This is how I talk to myself and figure things out, but just to show you, because you can do whatever way you want. So I want to keep this shape, but what I'm going to do <laughs> is I'm going, I'm going in, I'm going in, I'm just cutting it. Good God. Like I said, you don't have to throw these away. Am I throwing these away today? Yep. Right there. Okay. And if you want, we can do it up like that and have her two little legs sticking out. Cause sometimes people are like, well, oh, was she just hanging there? Yeah. You know what? She is just hanging there. I might even go more. I'm going a little more. It's only a canvas for a psych. I know, once you go, you can't go back, but that's how I live my life, people. I live it on the edge. Okay. Hey. So that'll be her skirt. Legs and all, I'm going to have to decide. I can't decide at the moment. But what I can decide is... So I want her to be, I want it to be like a full canvas. I'm going to take my gel pen and I'm going to decide what do I want to do? Do I want to do, you know what? I can bring this up even more if I go, let's bring it and make her waist in a little bit. 
That's why you always cut, like, you know, when I do this kind of stuff, I always sit and I, I do it like this because a little at a time because you never can get it back. <laughs> Believe me, I've cut things like I've had my favorite, um, like save my favorite papers or whatever. And geez, oh, pizza, I've cut them and it's like, girl, you're not getting it back. So we can go like that. And that brings in her waist a little bit. Hmm. Then I can draw this freaking chair. I can draw my waist because this would be her skirt. She got a big waist like me. Um. Her neck line and then that and then I can do her face whatever way I want it right so then that would be her neck this and then huh. arms I always like to kind of hide them because I can't do, I mean, I can do hands, but that's not what I'm trying to do today, but all right, I think this needs to be a little bit smaller here. And then that. Okay. Okay. All right. So let's see what I'm going to do. I'm going to put this aside for now. I sketched out kind of what I want. Now I used the gel pen as you saw, see, look what I did. I used the gel pen as, um, you see. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go in with my pencil, just the littlest bit. So I can kind of see where I'm at, right. And what I want. All right. I love doing, anyway, it's irrelevant. Okay, so I get way off topic. Um, as you guys tell me. Right. So we're gonna go like that. Gotta decide what color to do here. So what I'm thinking is Let's go some burgundy. Let's see if it'll be too deep. Might be too deep. Oh, but look, that's what I want. Now, don't be afraid to paint like down on the skirt because you're gonna cover it. But sometimes it helps you. Um, know like where things are going to go helps you figure things out do you know what i mean then you can see it better then you put your stuff over it covers it oh i know what i could do i could do this and then i can do some like flowers or something on it you know what i mean to make it decorative okay and that's really all I need for that. Okay. Her arms. Do they want sleeves? Do they not want sleeves? She's going in with sleeves, people. This one's going to go like this. And I'll just have to take a smaller brush to fix anything I want to fix, you know? Like that. And then this one. Mm. What's she going to do with her arm? now. 
Maybe I'll have her holding a bird. Who knows? Okay. So that should be dry enough right now for another coat. So I don't have to really go back. I can draw on it and play, but I don't have to necessarily go back. But she got, she's wide in the chest like a football player, but then she's got these teeny little arms. What the heck? Good enough for now. Okay. Dry that. Now, let me show you. Let's see. Again, we can make it, you know, I'm going to cut that off. Could have made it lace underneath, too. That would have been pretty. Okay, so that's set. So now it's to do the face. So I'm going to take my light flash. You can also, um, you know, mix your own colors with like a, a magenta, what is it, magenta, orange, and blue, a little bit of burnt sienna, I believe, and a little bit of white. I'd have to sit and play with it, but yeah, to that effect. You can find everywhere where to, how to do it. Um, off the top of my head right now, I'm, I feel like I can't think. So, not that important to me. I'm using this. This is what I do when I can't think. Otherwise, I have a mixture over there I could use. Now, I'm just going to go in and kind of circle the face that I want. And lay in that color. Give it a chance to dry so I can do another coat. And you can see it's kind of like an egg shape. Now the neck obviously is a little too big. So what I'll do is just kind of go in and draw it a little bit better. And then I'll paint that in as well. And I will shade this a little bit, I think, because the lighter color is on top now. And it kind of blends in. Although the hair will, we're going to do orange hair, I think, to really make everything pop out. So I'm going to dry this. Make this a little bit bigger. Going out this way. Okay. And I'm going to go in one more time just to get that shadow that's underneath there with that purple. Which you can shadow with purple. But like I said, she's more of a folk art girl. I'm not making anything phenomenal. 
I'm just gonna paint. All right, now I'm gonna go in, not gonna clean my brush. I'm gonna go in with a little bit of burnt sienna. I mean, and just like the tiniest of bit, just like a bloop on the edge. And I'm gonna go around. Where's my blending gel? I need my blending gel right here. Blending gel, which is kind of like a glazing. It just helps you uh, spread that out a little bit. And you see how it like smooths out. So now I can blend it in that color underneath. So I'm just going to lay down this where these will go. And then her face is like here. And you're going to see, I'm going to blend it. Now I'll wipe my brush off a little bit and then kind of go in and blend that around. Keep your paint uh, wet a little bit longer. I'm just adding those shadows in so when I go draw. there so I'm just gonna lay that in but the hair is gonna cover that so I'm not worried about that see how we did that now just adds that little bit I will take my paint one more time my face color and go in I think I need a little bit more I can clean this up a little bit here Again, I'm not going to worry too much on that because the hair is going to go. And this is just blending it a little bit more. Oh, I hear the birds out there. They call my name. I'm such a bird freak. I need to get a bird book. All right. I mean, that's, that's really it. That just makes it not so... Now, this will dry. Believe it or not, it will dry. It just takes an extra second. Now I know I have to put a hand on her, but I'm not going to worry about that right now. I'm kind of all over the place, but I'm not going to worry about it. Okay, so what I am going to do though is I'm going to take a little brush. I'm going to wet it and I can see, you know, I have some white here my white here just like you would with chalk or whatever you use you know like your stabilo just add your water and or you can put it on a rag you don't even have to use a brush just dump it off a little bit now why i'm doing this like for the around the face and all is because i will be uh doing hair and when i go to do the hair color that white will mix in a little bit and make it like a not ashy, but like, how do you explain it? I don't know, it just gets, it's not, not, not good. <laughs> It'll white, lighten it, you know what I mean? Couldn't think of the word. Oh, yeah, okay. So are you dry? Yeah, you're dry. So now I'm going to go in and we're going to do a face. And I'm going to take my pencil. And I'm going to just take this down here, just so I know where the end of my face goes. And just take it up like this. It'll be erased off or go behind the, the um, hair, so it's not that big a deal. Okay. And then I can go in here and just add a little bit of, which I will with my charcoal, but a little bit of shading. So. Usually what you do is you'll just take your, 
we all know this. We've all had probably seen a million videos. I don't even do my nut straight because why? And then I will do, you know, you go about half. And that's kind of where you start. And then you'll do this in half. And then here's your, but what I'll do is I'll, I'll go in and I'll add just like a little lip here. Bottom lip. Separation. And then on top. Remember, you're using pencil, so everything's erasable, everything's movable, it's not that big a deal. And then the nose is like, and there's a million no ways to do noses, but this one I'm just gonna do my normal nose for now. I'll probably make that even smaller. And then my eyes. So you can do, they say the general is if you do an eye an inch this side, you want an inch break and then an inch on this side. I just wing it, but if you want to do it, you know, you do what you want to do. And then like I would make the same width here and then go here and make my same eye. And you can see it's kind of going where the hair is going to go. I don't care. And then you just do your bottom part and connect it. and connect it and then I will go from this corner to this corner and make some this is a very easy folk art girl now I can see this one's a little big so I'll just go erase it it's not a tragedy to erase you just do it and do it again I do have stencils um, that I made so I can, you know, flip it and do, and then you just put in your circle, um, you know, for that kind of thing. But these, like, this is all, I'll play with all this. So, it, you know, but then I'll come up and then do like an eyebrow. I'll just do like a thicker here and roll it there and thicker there and roll it there. And then I'll turn her and I'll say, Kel, you're going uphill. Your lips are crooked, which they always are. But then you can use a ruler or a piece of paper, whatever. And I'll just do a little line to make it straight and then do it again. You can erase this line here in the middle line. Just know the pencil that you use, you know, you might have um, like some lead underneath that you'll be able to see. So just know that and just try to do it light. This might give her smaller lips, I think. still kind of funky but when I paint them in they'll be better and everything will be a little smaller of a nose yeah that's it very simple very simple so when I hold it up and I look, I'm like, okay, so this eye needs to be down a little bit. I am the worst. If I don't do my graphs, like my lines, I'm terrible. And I know. I tell you guys to do it, and you should. But I don't. Not all the time. Sometimes I will. And you guys know, sometimes I draw six million times. That eye is not. Stupid eye. Oh, no. 
on the right. I'm missing there. We'll see. I'll have to go back over with. Okay. So now she looks like she got punched in the eye, but I'm okay because I know where I'm at. So what I will do is I will go in with my white, or you could use gesso, it doesn't matter. And I'm just going to color all this in. That's going to be the inside of the eye. can't help, um, sometimes medication makes me insane and I can't think and I can't, I just can't do things. Patients, no patients, no, you know, so, but everything's fixable. It's only paint and, you know, there, so that'll be the inside of my eye and then I can work this chair, I swear. Get my husband to look at it again. Okay. And I'm going to do the same thing with the lips. I'm going to just kind of draw with my paint, which I do that sometimes. I don't know if I'm the only one. Um, because, you know, I'm going to gesso so I can paint colors. So why not, um, you know, just draw with my paint or my gesso? But that's all. And you'll still be able to see it with the line underneath. Okay. Yeah. This dries so fast. So I'm going to hit it. Now what I'm going to do, this right after. I'm going to take my eraser and I'm going to erase my lines. I'm going to erase the nose again. I'm going to erase the eye. I'm going to erase the eye. Yeah. Okay. See how we are? I'm going to go in with the eye. So I'm going to go in dark because I'll highlight it after. So I'm going to take, that's why I saved this little brush, just the darkest green or whatever color you want your eye to be. Oh crap, I'm gonna probably have to forward through this. Okay. See how we have the eye? Again, everything, you know, we're just laying in the color. You can make it as big as you want it. And you go back in anyway and you'll fill it and do the things. This is all I'm going to do right now because it's going to take forever to, um, for me to finish this and it's just going to be too long of a video. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take and we're going to add our dress for now. Because that was the whole reason I did the video. But All right, so... I have these together. Um, I'm going to first take some Mod Podge, or you can use uh, white school glue. You can use um, uh, decoupage. You can use a glue stick. Just get those corners and we'll add on to it. So this might be I think I'm just going to put this up once I get this glued down and then do another, like another part. And anybody who's interested in watching it can watch it. I don't know. 
Yeah, let's do the whole thing. I got it. So we'll lay it so the end is on the bottom. Move it over a little bit. Because it really doesn't matter as much this one as the other next one but that's on top. But you just want to make sure you get those edges in there, get those bubbles out. Push from the middle. Push it down. And then go in and you're like, oh, you know, just throw it on the canvas and add it. Sometimes if it's too long, I'll just put it so, you know, like, so it goes over the edge. It doesn't matter. Okay. Good. And then see where you want this. You know that she's going to go up here. And remember, we can put, I'm going to put some probably lace or design you know who knows what string yarn i don't know you can you know if you need to mask it you just mask it if not you just don't okay so then i will add this here don't worry if a little peeps out it doesn't matter and then I'm going to add this. You can keep the edge, like, let me show you. Like right here, if you want it to be up a little bit, you can. Like you can leave it so it has a little texture, um, you know, so it's looking at you. And that is step one. So what I'm going to do is gonna go we're gonna let this all dry and then my next video I'll come back and I'll finish all this and we'll do the face and we'll do a cute little face and play around so as always please be kind to each other you never know what battle somebody else is fighting I will see you guys in my next video I hope you guys have a fantastic day bye